check. Button check. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a beautiful day. It is Friday. We done made it to the weekend. We's about to check these buttons. We got a very hot topic. The first official button check of the New Year's 2020. We're going to start it off right. Let's go. And on that note, before we kick it off and dive into all this information, I hope you guys had a godlike New Year's Eve. I know we did on this family. We have a lot changing for 2020. We'll get into it. We have a whole nother channel that we're launching. There's a lot of stuff behind the scenes. There's just more grind and more shine in 2020, baby. And I'd like to announce that, take a look right now. The atmosphere, everything you see, button check, as you know it, is changing. It is sad to say, but we are moving. We are moving, therefore the atmosphere, this room will no longer exist. That I've known, Button Check has only known this room as Button Check, but no longer. Today, literally, is the last day that Button Check will ever be filmed in this room. Filming in here for the last time is definitely bittersweet, but definitely bigger and better things to come for 2020. I can't wait to get for the new setup. Maybe we'll do a video capturing like our new crib and stuff like that. It's exciting, man. I'm excited, it's a beautiful new place, so more to come. So anyway, with saying that, man, yo, let's get into this 2020 action. Let's go. Check Discord, they're streaming you at Mall of America. Wait, what? Am I on a, a screen at the mall? Does that mean I have to enter family-friendly mode? Yeah, is chat on screen? Hey, Mall of America, what do you think of these? What do you think of these bonanzas? Attention, Mall of America. Oh shit, I am on it. Holy crap, look at this. Check it out, guys. Apparently, um, so Mio is at the Mall of America. She said she was going to check it out today. I guess I'm on a screen. I'm just on there. That's cool. so cheap.
All right, so these right here are the buttons that need to be checked. Now, this is not a new topic at all, but this is one that just recently came up, and of course, I feel like it's gonna keep continuing up because it's the FGC. Anytime you got esports with the FGC, you're gonna get a question like this about the lack of money thereof or poverty gaming. All right, so it first started right here when I saw Snake Eyes post this, right? Pretty much saying that he is parting ways with Red Bull, thanking them for everything, which is mind-blowing, man, because if you think about it, damn, Snake Eyes has been with Red Bull forever since I can remember. Like, like back in what ultra if, if i'm not mistaken but the dude has been with red bull just holding it down for a long time now that he's parting ways i mean i know he's going to go on to you know great things as well but one can't help but wonder what does this mean for the career as far as snake eyes in street fighter 5 and with that you really can't say i know if this was like a regular season maybe you could say well it's going to be like the rest of them but with the game changing all around the new v skills the new mechanics and stuff like that the game feeling different it really does seem like there's going to be new players or like a changing of the ranks could be you know it could be just the same top players as always but i can't help but think just how much the scene is going to change player wise with these new changes in street fighter 5 and on that note shortly after that punk actually tweeted this saying sad to say but i will no longer be a part of team reciprocity if i'm even saying that name right for the 2020 season i wish them all the best of luck forward always great to me but now i'll be looking for new deals and a new place to call home feel free to dm or email me retweet and likes appreciated so in reading that this is honestly the first thing i thought was like okay i saw snake eyes and i saw punk didn't really think it was anything out of the norm i actually thought that okay well punk reciprocity if i'm once again i'm butchering that name but anyway reciprocity i didn't really know them as far as like in the fgc i know they do other stuff like shooter games and stuff but as far as in the fgc i didn't think they were a bigger name so i thought like well you know punk is one of the top players of street fighter 5 period got second at capcom cup what do you get like 60 g's or something like that dude got like the most points ever for capcom cup period definitely one of the top if not the top street fighter player ever street fighter 5 player i should say anyway so definitely a coveted like just right up there one of the top players you can get so knowing that and seeing that i was thinking well you know maybe because he finished such a good year maybe he's looking for a better deal you know he kind of cashed in his chips it was like yo all right now where's the better deal but apparently surprisingly that's not the case at all mr chad larson who happens to be i think he's the president or ceo of team reposity actually posted this shortly after saying we will not be competing in street fighter 2020 as the economic no longer meet our criteria for leagues rec can support it's been an amazing year with punk the god he will be missed all right so now we start piecing all this together one it's actually surprising to me that they would even make a statement like this like why why would you like first of all they already made a statement saying hey you know like the typical standard esports statement where everybody say thank you for your time with us we will be missed you they do it like a little montage and shit like that everybody does that okay so right here as you can see they did that but then on top of that they did this and they go out of their way to say they're not going to be competing in street fighter as the economics no longer meet their criteria which is saying a lot like why would you actually feel the need to even say that or maybe you can look at it as a positive thing like yo maybe they're just keeping it real like yo fgc is broke as shit we overestimated it we spent way too much money now we got to get the hell out maybe that's what they're saying and on top of that think about it like this punk like we just said one of the top players if not the top player 2019 the dude i if i'm I'm not mistaken the dude won more tournaments than he lost the dude had more points than anybody else once again correct me if i'm mistaken so in saying all that this guy definitely took home more than his share of the pot of the money that capcom or street fighter 5 was offering ever you know what i'm saying in 2019 so you got a player of that magnitude who's definitely one of the best and even that wasn't enough for team reciprocity whatever the hell the name is even that that's saying a lot yo if this was just a regular like i could see if it was a regular street fighter player or regular i mean somebody doesn't place all the time somebody doesn't win all the time that's not top tier like punk the god who's considered one of the best in the world then i could see like yeah i understand but this is one of the best players in the world hands down and it still fucking wasn't enough to make it happen in this esports realm and real talk let me know how you feel maybe i'm just overreacting but it definitely seems like this is the language that's being translated to us right now with the economics and them making this statement by team reciprocity god i hate saying that name and 
real talk, let me know how you feel. Do you think this is just some overreacting on my part? But it definitely seems from Team Rec right here from Chad Larson, that is the language that's being translated from us right now with the whole economics of Street Fighter. And it just, when you look at it like that way, it just says a lot. Like we all know that a lot of people claim there's not money, much, not much money in the FGC period. Other people right here saying, you know, there is, people just gotta find the way to do it and not just, you know, go too overboard. A lot of people believe that the FGC is, is you know, it's, it's, it hasn't blossomed yet. There's gonna be more financial opportunities in the future, especially if you got LOL Fighter, you know, that whole League of Legends fighter that's supposed to come out, I don't think this year, maybe next year possibly, the year after that, but that's gonna be a big boom with Riot Gaming. I mean, the, the, I mean, the sky's the limit. But until then, which we got a long time until then, what about now? Can the FGC continue to thrive in esports without that big, you know, glimmer or shine a light at the end of the tunnel? I don't know. It's one of those things. Now, is it going to keep doing what it's been doing? Absolutely. Capcom's still going to be doing Capcom Cup, Evo, all these other things. The FGC will continue to do what the hell the FGC does. But as far as esports actually diving in, sinking their teeth into the FGC like we all hope they would as far as having careers, as far as people doing this full time and just being able to support their families full time and doing this, you know, more so than ever right now. I don't know, seems kind of slim. Thank you once again for your support in blossoming the hell, blowing up the hell out of this channel. It's definitely become something in the beginning that it wasn't in the beginning. Now it's kind of like a FGC ESPN, like a new source. What cats are doing for the MMA world, we're doing here for you guys at the FGC. So thank you guys for all the love, all the support, all the homies. We're growing, we're doing a bunch of stuff. I'm rambling. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys bright and early at the new location, a new atmosphere, a new button check. See you soon. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. And I saw this. Punk released this saying, sad to say, but I would no longer be a part of Team Reprocip. I always say this fucking name wrong. Reprocipity? And I saw Punk post this right after that saying, sad to say, but I would no longer be a part of Team Reprocipity. Fuck. Sad to say, but I would no longer be a part of Team Recip. I cannot fucking say this name. Sad to say, but I would no longer be a part of Team Reps. I cannot say this fucking name.